Good morning, Centerville, and welcome to this week's Friday Focus. This week, the gymnastics team teaches us a few things we quiz exercise science and bring you current events. Happy Friday, Elks. It's November 3rd, and I'm Lila Hilliard. Join us while we ask the exercise science seniors some medical questions. My name is Anna Hinderhan, and we're all seniors in exercise science. I'm Julie Beavers. I'm Alex Booker. OK, so I'm going to ask you guys some questions, obviously, about exercise science. And we're going to see who can get the highest score. So you guys ready? Yep. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> At what age do your bones stop growing? <laughs> I'll give you options, I'll give you options. A, 93, B, 25, C, 30, or D, 13. <laughs> I feel like it's 13. 13? Yeah. False. What? Oh, wait. 25. Correct. You got it right. From what part of the brain do emotions come from? A, the cerebellum, B, the medulla, oh my god, C, the amygdala. <laughs> Is it C? The amygdala? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is the smallest bone in the human body? A, a stirrup, an inner ear bone, B, a pisiform, a wrist bone, or C, a metatarsal? A metatarsal? Yeah. A. Stroke? Yeah. Correct. Yes. Okay. What is the longest bone in the human body? The femur. Correct. Go ahead and run. Of the 12 pairs of ribs in your body, which ones are the longest? A, the fourth, B, the seventh, or C, the eleventh? C. Eleven? Yeah. False. A. False. Wait, B. <laughs> Wait, I thought we said B. You said, said C, and I said A. B. Great job. <laughs> Correct. See, those were kind of easy. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah. It's, yeah. I don't even know what to say. Uh, thank you for participating. Excellent. Do your outro. I don't know. It's not like you're using it. See ya. Have a good day. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye. Get it? Oh, bro. <laughs> Hate labels. I'm not a hero because calling yourself a hero makes you a self apologizing narcissist. Final score was a tie between Alex and Anna. Now it's time to take a look at how Mascom does attempting some gymnastic skills. Hey guys, this is Mascom. Woo! And this is gymnastics. Woo! And today we're doing Mascom tries gymnastics. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Our first event is bars. First thing is a pullover. Even though I had spotters for my little bar scene, I still think that was amazing and I'm really 
great at this. Okay. I um I stink at gymnastics. Okay. I kind of got that in the bag. And now we're on the end. So first, we're just gonna start off with some basic forwards kicks. Do a leap up. I'm terrible, but you know, it was fun. Thank you so much, Center World Gymnastics, for having us. And if you are eligible and interested, tryouts are Monday at 7.30 p.m. at Kids Are Top Sports Center. Be there! If you feel like you could do better than MassCom, are interested in joining the team, and have prior gymnastics experience, be sure to attend tryouts this coming Monday. Now we have Brooklyn and Ellie talk about what's been going on in the world. Have a great weekend, Centerville. Good morning, Centerville, and welcome to our new segment, the MC Chit Chat, where Brooklyn and I chit and chat. We'll cover some news about new holiday menus, news about the tragic death of Matthew Perry, and insights on Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift's relationship. Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift are making big headlines. Worldwide pop star and Super Bowl winning football player have been reportedly dating. It started around September and Taylor has been attending most of Travis's game. There are stats that prove that Travis even plays better when Taylor is there cheering him on. According to stats, Travis averages 99 yards when Taylor is present and only 46.5 yards a game when Taylor is not there. Actor Matthew Perry, who starred in 10 seasons of Friends, was found dead at the age of 54 on Saturday, October 28th. Matthew Perry was born on August 19, 1969 in Williamstown, Massachusetts. He is widely recognized for his portrayal of Chandler being in the iconic TV series Friends, which ran from 1994 to 2004. The eagerly anticipated holiday menus from coffee giant Starbucks and Dunkin' debuted on November 1st, marking the unofficial start of the holiday season for many. <clears throat> Starbucks typically introduces its iconic holiday-themed drinks like a peppermint mocha and eggnog latte, accompanied by an array of holiday-themed pastries and merchandise. To close, Centerville now has a new mural painted on the side of the previous seafood restaurant, Sweeney's. Search for this beautiful new addition next time you drive down Franklin Street. And again, thanks for watching the MC Chit Chat with Brooklyn and I. As we chit and chat, love you all. <laughs> now introducing new MassCom students, Sharon, making an appearance. Come on down, Sharon. Please, sorry, my Sharon, what made you graduate? Decline. What made you get a bomb? And why? Bond. And why bangs? What was that about? Um, I realized uh, my friend had one. Sharon, to the, to the table, please, Sharon. Sharon, thank you. Get your crusty hands off me before I put them on. So anyway. Um, <laughs> She's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon, I asked you. I'm sorry, you. okay, sorry. Um. I was at the uh, hospital early, so basically what happened was my friend Charity. had a <laughs> nurse. I did, and she's kind of jealous, so she's been trying to cut my bob for... Yeah, I see. That feels nice. Um, Do y'all see what I'm seeing? Because I'm actually going to just set my hair. Security! Okay, anyway. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Um, Wait, does it move? It does. It moves better than yours. Can you give us a little 360 feet? Yeah. Yeah. It's not fried. I have to the side of somebody at this table. Yeah. 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 Ye